Hello everyone, I'm back again to share another one of my Pandora bracelets. It's going to be this one right here. This particular bracelet, I themed it the Pink Sweetheart Girly Bracelet because everything I chose in this bracelet um, is very girly and also um, I'm using here the Murano's, the Rose Love Hearts and um, all the charms I have in this bracelet are character charms and um, yeah, that's why I titled it the Pink Sweetheart Girly Bracelet. But before I show you the charms, I wanted to answer a question I received from Maria Bennett and she signed it Tia. Hello Tia, I'm supposing that's your name. Um, she asked, what are you using to open the bracelet with? Uh, so in my last video, I was using, let me reach over here and get it. I was using this that you see right here. Basically what this is, it's just a clip and lock clasp opener. So you just uh, use it to open the clasp or if you can also use it to open the clips in a Pandora bracelet. This is a generic brand one and it's made out of plastic. Um, there's other ones that are authentic to Pandora and the one I have is this one here. It's a key ring. And this one right here is an authentic Pandora and I, you use the flower, um, the thin part of the flower, let me see there, and you press against the clip or the clasp and that does the trick. So this is also a clasp opener um, and I must tell you that some clips, this won't cut it. For some clips you need the Pandora metal one because for some reason some are harder to open than others but that's what it is Tia it's just a clip and lock clasp opener now we're gonna move over to showing you the bracelet um, so here we go for this one I have this safety chain and this is the kind of safety chain you unscrew and you screw on and this one's called this one's got the little hearts all around and this one's called the love connection so the way you take this one off you just basically um, unscrew it like that and you could see there the thread so this is actually the um, open end of the bracelet the thread you can see there the thread and that opens the bracelet but as you can see the safety chain uses up the space of about a charm because um, it goes around there so it's a sort of like the space of a charm but sometimes it goes up on the thread um, but that's why there's that space there I mean I like having my bracelets kind of soft but I do like um, sort of filling them there's a couple of them I haven't filled on purpose and then some of them I did. So let's get started with the charms of this bracelet. So before I move all, uh, over to showing you the charms, I'm also going to show you that this one again, it's just a regular clasp, a barrel, barrel clasp on a snake chain bracelet. So now we can move over to talking a little bit about this girly pink sweetheart bracelet. So the first charm I have on here is the tra oh no, it's the hope chest trunk. And it's absolutely detailed and gorgeous and that's the front, the bottom, and the back. It has a little heart. And there you have it. There's the little hope chest trunk and I just thought it was so girly and so appropriate for this particular bracelet and um, that's the first charm now the second one I have here is the Rose Love Hearts Murano charm and they have these in different colors um, and this one's just like pink water clear pink water in the background with the beautiful soft pink hearts absolutely beautiful next to that one I have dancers shoes and you can see the, all the little detail these little dancer shoes have 
Look how beautiful that is. And then all around it has the pink CZs going all around. Let me see if I could twist that around so you guys can see. So it's got three CZs going all around. And they're just beautiful. Uh, again, I thought these were very appropriate for this particular girly bracelet. Next to that one is a charm that I believe all Pandora collectors have, which is the cupcake with the 14 karat cherry on top. I think all of us collectors have one of these, one of these little cupcakes. It's just beautiful. And um, I wanted to get my hand on another one, but it's, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to because um, I already have it on this bracelet and I think it's so perfect for this bracelet. Um, but yeah, I have a cupcake for this themed bracelet. Next to that one, and again, I want to say that these are old charms, discontinued old charms. This is another one of my older bracelets. Next to the cupcake, I have the present, the present charm. And this is a big chunk of silver, and it's just very well made. All the detail that it has all around, you could see there, the 3D bowl, how beautiful that is from the side. It's just pretty. I love that one. All right, now, that was what I had in my first section. Uh, for my clip, I have the ribbed clip for this one. Um, it was just like a soft, smooth clip. Not too much texture, just the little ribs. Ribs. The ribbed um, clip. And it's the clip station. So now let's move over to the second uh, section of the bracelet which would be the center part and let me see there okay so to start this one off I have another one of the Muranos the Rose Love Hearts and basically that's what I have on all the Muranos I just have well I have four Muranos and all four of them are the Rose Love so the light clear pink in the background and the light pink hearts next to that one I have the teacup and saucer. This is another one that I think all Pandora collectors have. And it's just got the the little wet look up at the top and and the little details. All look at all the little details around the cup. It's just so beautiful and detailed. Another one of my favorite ones. I have so many favorite ones, but the cupcake, this one, I also love the crab. I think it's the happy crab. Oh my goodness, I love all those. Look at that little teacup. So beautiful. Oh my goodness, I just love all the detail that went into making this little teacup. And the if you notice around the rim of the teacup, the little dots around the rim match the little saucer. That's just such a nice detail. I love that. The centerpiece of my bracelet is the key to my heart with the 14 karat dangle key. This is the center one and I thought it was appropriate because of the hearts, the Murano hearts I chose for this bracelet. So I chose that one to be the center part of my pink sweetheart girly bracelet. And I think I have two of these um, because I loved them so much when they first came out. Next to the key to my heart, I have the teapot with the 14 karat knob on the lid, the tiny little dot. And I love this one. And of course, if I had the teacup, I had to have the teapot. And that one's another one that's so detailed. This is a, I believe it was the first tea, teapot. Um, it's an older piece as well, but it's just my favorite teapot. My favorite. Even the teacup. This is my favorite teacup, even though they've come up with another one. Um, these oldies are my favorite ones. And then again, I have another ribbed clip. And that's what I have in the center section. Now, let's move over to the last section. In the last section, I have, because these are character beads, I thought this one would be appropriate for this bracelet. I have 
the dog house. And this is also an old ruin. And you know what I notice about this particular charm? Let me zoom it in there. That the nose of this little guy, which this one looks pretty good, but it begins to smooth out. If you have one of these charms, tell me if that's happened to your charm as well. I think this one's in pretty good condition, but I've seen that the little noses start to smooth out with the little dog in the dog house. And then the top, you could see the awesome texture. And in the back, let me flip it over. Then the back has the red heart on the dog house. And then if we look at the bottom, it's just nice and smooth. And another thing with these uh, charms, with this doghouse charm, is that um, because they put the 925 on the side, and I'm not sure if it's on this side or the other one, I believe it's right there. If you could see it down there, because it rubs against the charms next to it, it begins to rub off. So that's one thing about, I don't understand why, you know, why they didn't put the ALE925 in the bottom, but it's on the side and it does rub against the side of the charm that's next to it. The next um, charm I have is the Clear CZ Heart. And I thought again, this would be appropriate because I have the Dangle Heart in the middle and then I have the Murano uh, rose love hearts so I thought that would be perfect on this particular bracelet so it's got the CZ in the center of both sides I like the clear one because it matches with everything you could change it around to different bracelets which I think I have done that before but I settled on this one finally the third dangle I have on this bracelet is the sneaker shoe dangle and you could I love this one it's so detailed you can see the little P there you could see the little shoelaces look at all that detail it's amazing I love this little shoe it's just beautiful and um, let's see the bottom it's it's just smooth from the bottom but that is so cute so that's my third dangle I only have three dangles on this bracelet and then the safety chain and then I have the fourth Murano right here. Oh, these are so beautiful. And again, they have these in different colors. They have, a, they have them in different colors. But because I wanted this one to be pink, I chose the pink one. And then the last charm I have on this bracelet is the suitcase. It's the beautiful little suitcase, the traveler's suitcase. And um, that's the last one I have on this charm bracelet. Again, there you could see the safety chain, the love connection safety chain. And um, see how it screws on to the um, thread there. But it does serve as a safety precaution in case your bracelet would open. Again, these are very heavy bracelets. And in case it would open, that would do the trick to hold everything around your wrist. But see what happens if you don't have a safety chain? They begin to, the charms begin to screw into the thread. It does help a lot to have a safety chain. To keep everything in place so you just screw it on you keep going and going and there you have it I think I'm you know you could keep screwing till it goes all the way down so I'm just gonna keep going and going and there you have it um, it screws on and there it is and that is my pink sweetheart girly bracelet I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be making another one of these videos soon. Bye!